Hi guys, so this should be a pretty quick one here. EG4 sent me an auto updater for these LifePower 4 batteries. Uh, and it's also called the battery update tool or something like that. I can show you what uh, came in the package there that they sent me. Um, and this, I guess, if you guys are used to updating the firmware on different things and on the batteries, you can do it on your laptop also, but this little updater here comes preloaded with the latest firmware. And basically by what the directions say anyway, you can just plug it straight into the battery, give it about a minute and download it on each battery or upload it on each battery there. So looks pretty simple. And so for people that don't have a laptop handy or aren't very tech savvy, uh, this should be um, a lot easier for them. And I've seen a lot of people that are hooked to these batteries with their laptop to check uh, cell voltages and stuff like that. I would recommend the communication hub that you can check each pack and its state of health, its state of charge, and all individual cell voltages, all with this thing. And it's got other features also. So yeah, I highly recommend that for these LifePower 4 batteries. And I never showed the install of that, but it's extremely simple. There's an online manual that shows you exactly how to put it in. And it comes with a little stand, but I ended up just using some zip straps and uh, zippy ties there and put it on top of this here. Just I thought it looked a little cleaner, but it does have a long lead there for the power cord, and that just hooks into your positive here of the rack to be able to power it. Anyway, let me show you what comes in the updater package here. All right, so nothing fancy here. This one here is for powering the little unit, so you can use a portable power supply. I've got one that charges my cell phone, so that's what I'm going to use here. And then this end goes into the little uploader. The directions are there on the bottom. And that's where that's going to go in there to plug in. So definitely not fancy. It's pretty uh, utilitarian here. <laughs> and then here's where the communication will go in. And that will plug into the LifePower 4 battery. I'll show you here in just a second. All right, so this is the little power supply I have from my... to recharge my cell phone. So I'm going to hook that up to this. And it's alive. <laughs> okay, so the directions stress the fact that you're supposed to unhook all the comms cables and turn all the rest of the batteries off. Also, the dip switches go down. So all dis dip switches should be down. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to switch all the rest of the breakers off and take all of the comms cables off. And then we'll do one at a time, one battery at a time. You cycle the battery on. Wait for it to cycle all the way through. And then it's ready to update. So you plug that in. All the lights are on. You hold this down for three seconds. And it started to update. So it just takes about a minute or so. So yeah, EG4 did a great video on this. I will put it in the description down below. Oh, looks like it's already finished. So yeah, why would somebody want to do this? Uh, they, the firmware that you are you have on your batteries right now may be a little dated. The newer stuff, it uh, helps with cycle life and helps them to balance better. So yeah, it looks like the last one is done already. So less than 10 minutes for the entire thing. Uh, I saved the top for last because I like doing stuff backwards. But um, yeah, so if I will, again, I'll put the... EG4 video in the description below. I will also put their email. So if you guys need one of these, just email them. They'll send you one right away. Uh, it was only, I don't know, like three or four days after I contacted them that I had one of these. So very simple overall, guys, and I would recommend it. I mean, that's you can't get much easier than that. So thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned.